Hi, Peter Charles here, Folk to Life, Fly Fishing. And today I'm going to get back into that subject of minimalism and taking it easy and uncomplicating our fishing. And I took it to the extreme. I went out with rod, reel, line, leader, one fly. In this case, my uh, brown trout weemer. And went out for about just a half an hour to fish for bass. I had a client in the morning. And then I had my lunch, and I figured I'd finish off the day with a bit of bit of smallmouth bass fishing. And really, what you know kind of prompted this was thinking about how I fished when I was a kid. I mean, this is my fifty something, fifty five year old Shakespeare rod with my Mitchell three hundred. I mean, this is I, I fished with this throughout my teen years. And, uh, you know, I'd go out to the uh, St. Lawrence River on my bicycle. I'd have the rod would already be rigged up with the Red Devil. And it would be, you know, I'd stick it in the house. It was always rigged. I never took it apart. And I'd just go down to the river on my bike, fish for half an hour, an hour, go home. And I thought to myself, well, you know, what? if I could do that as a kid, why can't I do that today? Make it life easy for myself. I mean, I've got my MX... Uh, pro streamer rod sitting in the garage always rigged up always ready to go but i'd always take a load of other junk with me it's like there's a rod in the garage always rigged like just go with it and, you know and if it's warm enough don't even bother with waders keep it simple so i've got some footage of me just fishing with my uh single uh brown trout weemer nothing else the only the other bit of kit i took with me was uh pair of forceps just in case I had a, a deeply hooked fish. Other than that, you know, it was about as simple as you can get. So let's see what it looks like. So we're out uh, with just the one fly. No fly box. No um, tippet. Just the one fly. And you know what? Sometimes this is just fun. You, you just have the rod sitting in your garage, all rigged up with the fly attached. You don't even bother thinking about it. You just grab it and go fishing. Remember when we were kids, you just have your spinning rod, maybe with a wire leader and a red devil on the end if you're going for pike. And you just get on your bicycle and you'd ride down to the river or the lake or the pond. And that's what you fished with. Whatever you could carry on your bicycle is what you fished with. And I think sometimes, us fly anglers, we make it too complicated. I mean, we need to go back to our childhood. And, uh, you know, just fish with, you know, what we brought with us, what we could carry on our bicycles. I'm not seeing any surface action today. Typical. Uh, I've got a real syncopated rhythm with this particular stretch of water. I come out with a shallow running or surface pattern and there's no fish working on top. So I come out with a, a sinking setup that's going to be down along the bottom and the fish are whacking bait on the surface. It's like I just can't win. No matter when I'm out here, I've got the wrong rig. <laughs> So today there's zero surface action, no bait being busted on top at all, and I'm up here with a shallow running fly. Oh well. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, that's decent fish. No, maybe not so decent. You just hit hard. Jumping nice though. Probably about a pound and a half, I would think. But you're gonna give me a good solid fight though. Yeah, it's probably a pound, if that. They're just tough. Ah, oh, about a pound. I'll take him. Come here. I'll let you go. There we go. Oop, that was the fish. I saw the swirl behind the fly, too. Oh, another little fish. 
These could be bar gar pike hitting it um, because there's no the, the hits are small. And uh, I'm not getting anything remotely <laughs> resembling a hookup. So it's probably those probably those two hits are probably garpike. I'm almost finished this pool here. I'll have to change. Ah, I got another one. There we go. About the size of the last one. Pretty sure those other fish were garpike because the bass are hitting an awful lot harder. Come here. About the same as the other one. About a pound. That was a gar pike. I don't know if I caught that on camera. That's a little gar pike coming up to breathe. I got a three pounder out of this stretch a couple of weeks ago. Uh, maybe I'll come back for a round two if I'm lucky. We got another one. This guy's a little. Boy, are you ever little. Go back. Go back home and grow up a bit. Come on. There we go. So that's the third fish on. And uh, had a few hits. I'm still working on the same fly. And uh, as you can see, I don't have to carry any other stuff with me. Headwind is getting to be a problem, but I'm still reaching fish. Oh, that was a, that's probably a gar pike. You get that sort of a soggy sort of hit uh, where they're just pulling the tail of the fly. And it just goes through their jaws, and you, you there's no hookup. Last cast. Oh, got another one. Last cast, too. Nice. Come back here, my line's over that way. Where are you going? Come back here. It's not your pool, you're on the wrong side. Come here. And this one's just probably a little bit under, this is a little bit smaller fish. Come here. Don't tangle up my line, I'll get mad at you. fly. Brown trout weimer. Four bass on it, still going strong. Who needs a fly box? Okay, let's wind up. The rain has started. It wasn't a bad half an hour or so. Well, <laughs> you can see four fish, not too bad in a half an hour. And I kept getting these little gar pike there, just little hammer handles. And, uh, you know, you, they, they'll, they'll come up, they'll nip at the fly, and you'll, you never hook them. But it gives you a little bit of excitement when something grabs the fly. And, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, especially when you're fishing a streamer on, a, um, on the end of a floater, I mean, the odds of it snagging up and losing the fly are very low. I mean, if you, if you lost the fly to a fish that was big enough to break you off, well, wow. I mean, that, that's worth the price of admission right there. I'd go home happy anyway. Uh, I, I know there's one fly competitions and I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about keeping it as simple as possible. 
just going out with the absolute minimum of kit, just fishing for a little while, go home. And, uh, you know, get on with the chores like cutting the grass and stuff like that. It just makes the day nice. And uncomplicating things I mean, in this day and age, certainly there's some value in that. So give it a try. Cheers.